be there for you. You know, there is this guy, uh, let me give you an example. There's this guy, he's from my state. Uh, we went to the same university. He was my junior um, in the university. In fact, we grew up together at some point. He lost his job and we shared the same flat. Man, many years, over 20 years ago, or thereabout. And there were a whole lot of things that happened then. But right now, this guy is a billionaire. All right? So at some point, some few years ago, I had issues in my marriage and I had to go to Nigeria. And this guy called me and he said, because I told him what was happening, he said to me, Look, when immediately you land into Nigeria, I've got a three bedroom flat for you in Ajawa State. You know, just go there, don't even tell anybody anything, go relax your mind, go chill, and, and what I can do to keep you, you know, going. You can have somewhere you're going to come back every day. So you, you're not in that zone where you're thinking so much, you know. So I'll make sure you're, you know, you're functional. Wow. At some point, one day I called him. I said, guy, what is this thing that I did to deserve, to make you, Do you know, for me. strong for me? What, what is it? Yeah. He said, well, that he will tell me something that I might have forgotten. But do I remember many years ago when he used to work with Panalpina? You know, I don't know if any of us remember Panalpina. They are into logistics in our papa. Wow. That, you know, so, you know, he said to me, he reminded me, do I remember then? I said, yeah, I remember when you were with Panalpina. And I remember, we just joked about it. I kind of told him, I remember you got sacked. You know, so he said, good. That he remembers then. I was sharing a flat with him. And almost every morning when I am leaving for work, I would drop 50, 100 naira with him. Oh. I would just tell him, you know, just use this, buy whatever. I mean, there's food in the house, what, but then take 50 naira, 100 naira, you know, help yourself and all that. That wow. do I remember those days? But right now that he's blessed, even if he gives me one naira, it is not equivalent to that 50 naira and the 100 naira I gave him then. Ah. But he understands, true. according to him, that I was giving him out of lack. It wasn't like hmm. I had it. Hmm. But I was able to give him at that point. And that is what he values. There are people who have it and they will struggle to give you. They don't Very have the heart to give you. But then I didn't have enough, but I shared the little I had. So even if he gives me five million now, that five million will not shake him because he has it. You know what I mean? Now that's who I can truly call a friend. Hmm. Now, uh, he lost his dad and, in, you know, um, he's fixed the burial for 23rd, 24th of December. Now, that's very, very, very tight for me to travel home from here, hmm. that period. But air flight, right now, the you know, ticket is almost 1.7 million to travel. But then he hmm. said to me, how much really? How much can I put in to go stand by this guy that is too much? Hmm. No, matter what, no, no matter what it is, I'm going to be there for him. Now, that is, wow. that is, that is you understanding friendship. Yes. There is a whole mm -hmm. lot of people who will have that money, and you will call them, they will tell you, we no longer belong to the same class. Hmm. True. Mm. This is a guy that sponsored the governor of my state with over 100 million when the guy was contesting. Just like wow. that. You know, so he's, he's gone far, but then he still recognizes someone who was there for him at the time he needed it most. True. That is the true definition of a true friend. Ah, yeah. I thank God you came on. Listening to you is a blessing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank You're you, welcome, sir. Bro. Wow. Don, please, what's the value of a true friend? Welcome, sir. I greet you. Hi, is everyone? Hello. Uh, uh, bro, uh, not be so, you know what I mean? Uh, not be so, uh, remember when we were back? So, so, this is what I did, you know? You say, oh. Sorry, my brother. Sorry, my brother. Don't say that I caught you off. Don't say that I caught you off. Yeah. That was one of, was, what one of my friends said to me. That, have you forgotten that time that we used to play together? I know be so live view. Yes. You know that kind of word? No be so live view. Yes. You see what I'm saying? That's so, an entitlement man. Yeah. 
Is that what? Yeah. No, be so like, I just look at him like this. What do you mean? Yes. <laughs> and so I was not concerned. I said, did I offend you so you forgot all your be humble beginning, blah, blah, blah. What is going on? I can't remember owing the everything. So when I now called, I said, okay, let me get off. I now call. You need to see the rage. The rage. Oh. On the, oh. I said, the way boys, the tone. I said, what is going on? I said, ah, bros, I'm sorry. Oh. Was there any time you, as in, you did something I was supposed to pay back? You give me money or what, 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 what is going on? He said, Good. he said, and I, and I said, he said, bro, and not be so you get us. We did the area, the same area at that time now. You don't remember me. We did the same area. I said, I, I don't understand. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to now, <laughs> I have to now calm down. I said, really? And you went to my page public on Facebook and put it there. You know, I said, bro, you don't say hunger day now, whatever. Really? So now, those people <laughs> remember. Our so, story is very, very similar. Very, very similar. <laughs> different areas. But right now, if I could, if I, or see, I met this person, I would say, no, I don't owe nobody. Nobody is, uh, I'm yeah. good. And we can mm -hmm. never tell. You understand? So, but sometimes we have to be, whatever we believe in, if it is Allah, if it is God, or whatever, we have to, oh, you know, okay. pray for so that you will be able to reach as many people as you can. And sometimes you are not able to reach as many people as you want to reach, not because you are ungrateful, not because you don't want to show love, but you have your own mm -hmm. battle that you fight. Yeah. You understand? And so when you see yes, social, of course. Okay, when you see social media, is in everything is like a, a, in a perfect condition, perfect situation. My dear, you mm -hmm. and I know. Yeah. It's not as pretty or bed of roses as it show as as it appears on the social media you understand and so no uh, no you know it, it's like it hard okay to be okay it is hard to please everyone without any form of either inferred judgment or an assumed perception of you that that triggers people to feel that you are ungrateful that you don't appreciate what they've done for you and so and those Very individuals are supposed to money, maybe money for Okada when you were suffering. Then and it was also so sometimes you share your food with them too. But deep down this side of you you feel okay we are evil now. Why some of them feels no you can't just move on even and when God has blessed you then uh, you now uh uh you, you free. No. Even some of them when they call you when they call you the way they call if they miss your call they say well since you go abroad it doesn't answer any uh, any of our calls. True. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's the word. That's the word. <laughs> oh, we just have to be careful. <laughs> John, John, you know the way they feel? They feel once you enter abroad, you start making money. Right. Right. As if when right. you get to the airport, they just disseminate money. They don't know you have to go through yeah, the money. You don't have to go through inductions. You have to pass before you start working. Like it's a process. Even before you start yeah. applying, you need NI. You need what is national insurance. The way you get job in Africa, not the way you get job abroad. You need to no. go yeah. through documentation. You need to have a work permit. It's yeah. a process. Uh, some people they just met to be friends, and for sure. me, um, quite a number of times I've been an advocate of people recognizing truly who their friends are. Uh, I, I've been in that ship where people are thought where my friends ran me down. Mm. I've been in that position where I've stuck my head out for people. And then when it is my turn, you know, they treat me like trash. They, 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 they treat me like I don't exist. You know, I'm not valuable. Then when mm. things pick up with me, they come back and, you know, they begin to tell you or begin to accuse some other person, you know, that it was this person that said what they said that made them behave what they all part of it you know so uh, um sincerely speaking it takes it takes a whole lot just like you said nowadays i've learned to be private i'm not no one is born an island we need to mix up with people but then mm -hmm. you're better off having acquaintances than actually opening up your door to certain people who you do not know you know or Very who does true. not find you you know, so I'd rather zone. It's not money alone. 
There's some people that they will give you will be very, very valuable to you than giving you money. Very That's true. the kind of friend I'm keeping now. He's the only one I call my friend. The other ones we are friend, a friend of mouth, not a deep friend. Just a quick the other one I have now. We are just a friend of mouth. Yeah. And I told people, once you notice some friend in your life that they always ask from you, they are not ready to offer you anything, it's better for you to delete them from, from your life. True. You don't have anything to do with them. Just leave them alone. I told people, don't pain them. If you pain them, they may cause a deal, they may cause a problem for you in future. Just delete them totally from your life. You don't need them. True. You have to move with the people to move your goal. That will take you to your to where you're going to. Not those that are uh, we're going to club tomorrow, we're doing this. It's when they need you, they will call for you. Can you don't need them in your life. I love I, I love yeah. what you have just said. Um Rosemary, you're welcome. Let me give you the litmus test for friendship. You see, you don't need to wait until you see a friend destroy you or deal with you that you know that this person is bad. When you see the way they treat yeah. another, I, I think I heard this from Sweet Banana Cake. Friends, please tag SBC. Tag SBC. I think I, I heard this from SBC. Um, SBC said, all yeah. I need is to watch the way you treat another of your friends. Yes, of I know you will treat me that yeah. way. So if I watch the way you treat of Tamalin, course. when Tamalin is maybe on the hot seat, and I see the way you relate with her and how you gossip about her and how you deal with her, it makes yes. me know how you are. Yes, of course. Because that same thing you did to that person is still going to bring it back to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you're in that position, it will do the same to you. So that's what I do. That's the way I live my life. Most of them have caught them all. Since over, I think, six, over six years, seven years ago, I caught every one of them all. They called me, I don't pick their calls because I don't have anything to do with them anymore. You know, you know, and those that I know that they're useful to me, I keep them. 